Pete's very grumpy today. She's mad at me. And I'm here to say that I'm very, very sorry for throwing away her magazine. <laughs> it's Thursday Thoughts. I think she picked out a word. She's trying to find the stream. You may have to hit refresh on our channel if that's what you're trying to, if that's where you're at. How's everyone doing? Showing up now? Ready to start eating healthier? Me? She's watching the commercial. <laughs> All right, well, this is P over here. M over there. Patricia. Mariah. And together, we are PM Artist Studio. Studio. Very grumpy. I'm with figuring me. out some stuff here. Plus, she went to Costco. She got a bunch of great stuff. I did. You did. I'm very proud of you. Things that like Castle would have never gotten. Yes, and I brought you back a frosty and a soda. You did. I was sorry I did that after I saw my magazine in the trash. I'm very sorry about the magazine. It won't happen again. Well, it will if you think that I won't see it. Okay. No, no. <laughs> She doesn't have very much faith in me. She's sneaky. Hmm. Well, let me say hello to everybody while he's kind of getting the, her stuff worked out there. Do turn your chat over to live chat. Say hello in the chat so we can say hello back. If you want to just hang out in the background, that is totally fine. Do give those thumbsy upsies, though. We very much appreciate them. All right, let's see who is here. Whoo, quite the crew. Alrighty. Do give those thumbs the upsies, upsies y'all. All right, we've got Anne, Miriam, Heather, Belinda, Betsy, Brad's here. Carolina is here. Carrie, Darcy, Deb, Dorothy, Eddie, Estella, Evie, Griffin Shell, that's Rhonda, Jamie, Jeanette, Joan Miron, also known as Joni M, Joni Sorson. We've got Judy P. We have Yuta, Kathy, Kimberly, Lynn, Maxine, Michelle, Nightbot. Remember, she is the one that will drop in information in the chat, usually prompted either by our moderators or she just kind of drops things in randomly. We've got Pinka, Reverend Sonia, Silver Granny and her Grumpy Gnome. That's Lynn, and sometimes the Grumpy Gnome is with her too. Sirius Hecka, that's Lisa, Star Traveler. That is, oh, Star Traveler is Linda. That's right. Stitching Arc, Sue Davis. Hello, Sue. Susan, the Shelly Studio. Tina is here. Awesome. 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 Well, hopefully P will pep up since I have promised her that I will not. Oh. She had you have it here on the stream. You can bring this back and say, look, you said you would not throw my magazines away. I have made a public announcement of it. Yes, it was a good one. Okay. She'll get better by the end of the stream, hopefully. All right, are you going to enlighten us with some Thursday thoughts? Oh, absolutely. Oh, she does look super duper really cute today. In fact, I called her the Artie Van Damme because she even has her little cute, like, army pants on and everything. <laughs> See, that got a little smirk out of her. All right, oodles of interjections and exclamation. Blimey, bust my buttons. Bye, Joe. I'm try trying to remember all these so that I don't, you know, utter profanities online. <laughs> Crikey. Crikey. Uh, Lynn says, Pete, forgive Mariah, for she knows not what she did. Well, she does know what she did. Yeah, she did. It was intentional. It That's was. That's what really, really. I, I, I admit it. Yeah. And as I grabbed it, I thought, I'm probably going to catch some crap for this. Yeah, and all you had to do was walk over to the stairs and put it on the stairs. So it could sit there another three or four days. Well, what difference does it make? It, it bothers me. But I'm going to get over it. Because I love you. Well, I'm not over it yet. <laughs> Dag damn it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're crying out loud. For goodness sake. For Pete's sake. Gee willikers. Gee whiz. Jeez Louise, I say that a lot. Yeah, you do. Goodness gracious. My great-grandmother used to say that. Oh, yes, she did. Good night, nurse. <laughs> Good yum drops. Great Scott. I don't know what that means. <sighs> Heavens to Betsy. 
Holy Look cow. Yeah. Holy Look. mackerel. Holy moly. I say that too. Zoinks. I'm going to incorporate that. Zoinks? Zoinks. I like Zowza. Yikes. Oh. oh. Hey, Marsha. Auntie Natalie used to say Zowza. Yikes. Whoa, Nellie. My great-grandmother used to do hello, that. Hello, Sharon. No what words. the devil? What in tarnation? She used to say that too. Lee loves your, uh, hello, Lee, and she loves your necklace. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Got that at the, Al no, at the Santa Fe flea market that's next to the Opera House. Mm. Land sakes, leaping lizards, shaw. So are these all on one page? Jumping Jehoshaphat. Jinkies, Jiminy Cricket, <laughs> Cheepers, Huzza, Hot Diggity Dog, Holy Toledo. Holy, there you go. Holy Toledo. So are those all like Interjections and exclamations. All right. And here's the name of Sugar this. Biscuits. You say that all the time. I, I, I don't want to say that. You're not going to say that one. I'm not going to say okay. that. Okay. Okay, so this this Korean, um, I don't know if you'd call it, it's not exactly a soap opera, but it kind of is. But this is a it's really... like a drama. It is excellent because... Number one, it has a great cast of people. And it's really, it, I think it's commentary on the social conditions in Korea at this period, especially at the corporate level. Because it's all about this trading company and the people in the trading company. I think they get completely overworked. <clears throat> oh, and yeah, and, and misogynists and. Oh, well, I think that's. Oh, yeah. But it's called M M I S A E N G colon Incomplete Life. And it is on Netflix. So <laughs> Carrie says yes, his most used swear words are fudge and sugar. Those are good ones. I like sugar biscuits. <laughs> ah. Well, you know, I read an article once that said people who use profanities are usually more intelligent. Than your average. Uh huh. I, I guess she sent me that, and I was like, "Well, there we go." <laughs> that makes me feel a lot better about things. All right. Well, do you want to talk about your project a bit before I get started over no, here? No, I don't want to talk about my project right now. I'm still working it out. I, I've got my picture over here, but I, I don't, you know, I I don't want to get too excited because my boxes might disappear. I put the boxes inside of the boxes. Did you see that over there? Where? Oh, yeah. On the table. I, I, I did. I saw it. Did you haul them up? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Please, this my husband must be a genius. There you go. <laughs> pooper doodles. Mm, that's good. I, I like pooper doodles. Okay. Oh, I like that. You oh, too. for 50 cents, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Profanities also help reduce physical pain. There you go. Okay. Yes. Enough said. I was in the military. <laughs> oh, so That's good. All right. Yeah. That, that, I like Mine that is stuff. sunny beaches. Mm -hmm. Lots of good. Oh, I'd love to tell you a story about when my great grandmother thought about Kansas, but I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> okay. Carolina says, que ganas de estar en Texas y Usually Miriam um, or Martha, a lot of them talk with Carolina. Ah, well, Carolina, my Espanol is mm -hmm. not so great. I, I know some words. I know lots of swear words. Bad words. <laughs> this is appropriate for today. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to go topside and get started. We good with that? Yeah, I'm good. Are you going to look up at the camera every once in a while? No, okay. I, no I'm just going to look at, I'm going to read. Okay. Well, we're going to go to tiny picture anyway, so I guess that's all right. <laughs> all right, I have papers. I had really planned on having a bit more done, but we are working on the website. In fact, that is going to be our big main focus. In fact, probably not going to put it out put out anything new until we get that going um which we're hoping you know by the end of next week I, 
I really do suspect, but you know, um, we've had some other stuff come in with our other company, you know, like our sort of day job stuff. Oh, thank you. So, um, just to kind of give you guys a heads up on that. And then Violet was so sweet and let us know that the pop-up on our current website wasn't working very well and kind of causing some issues. So that has been remedied. If you guys were frustrated and having issues there, that hopefully has been remedied. And most I love to use some Korean <laughs> Get on that. Yeah. Okay. And then many of you, um, I went ahead and posted the link to the kind of the, the general like these have, obviously these are the pattern papers that I print out, but just the guide to cutting how I cut these, if you want it. And then that way you can use your own pattern papers. You could use gel prints, um, scrapbook paper, just about anything that you want to use. And once you kind of get the hang of the cut, it, it's pretty easy peasy. So let's just, you know, get started. Although, remember, we I, I did this one in the last stream. I'll leave that for here in a minute because I'll show you a cool little thing about that. And so if you use two-sided papers or, you know, glue two together, because you kind of want this to be a little bit thick, so that would work out just fine. I mean, you don't want it so, so thick that it's hard to fold because that, that becomes quite something else entirely. <laughs> Are you going to read some things I'm out? Not gonna, no, you told me not to read everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so first thing is, Ooh. is that you want to cut the little swoopy pocket piece. There's two ways to go about this. I, I watched about the... Um, Somebody else did too, but I forgot who it was now. What? The process. Watch the process video. Okay, good. So then you guys sort of know. Keep these little pieces. They come in handy. And you can right click on translate to English, which is helpful. If not always correct. Boy, isn't that the truth. I, I, I chuckle a lot at their translations mm -hmm. too. On the... okay. All right. Now, here's the other thing. So if you are printing your papers and you have a margin, I highly recommend trimming that margin off. I could bring up the cutter, but I'm just going to do it with the scissors. Because I don't think that this needs to be absolutely spot on. So there we go there. And most likely what is going to happen here at the top is... You need to move over a little bit. You're right over underneath your window. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. All right. So, that's pretty much it. Okay, Anne missed something. She said, are these papers available to download or order? The ones you're using right now. I am willing to make them a set that we print and you buy. Because I don't want to make it a downloadable digital because it makes it really easy for just anybody to kind of do whatever with our designs if they know what they're doing. Um, and I'd just rather them not be that easy to access. <laughs> but um, I, I can make it a, a laser printed set if you guys are interested in having the exact same papers. And, and Yuki wants to know if there will be a pattern available for this. The pattern is available already on the website. I will get you the, the link to that real quick. One second. I meant to have that up and available. You know, the other thing is, is you could actually print these since some of you or a lot of you have these stencils. Yes. You could, you know, I don't know. That's just a thought. That's what I would do. And then you have, you know, cool printed papers. And you can print <laughs> both sides. Of Cause... course we want the same papers, Mariah. That's what Urban <laughs> Jail says. Well, I didn't... I know I would mentioned it last time, but I wasn't sure if people were really... There wasn't a big jump on that. But okay. I can do that fairly easily. Um, so the guide is... 
There, Stitching Ark says, gel print your own, folks. <laughs> Thumbs up, Stitching Ark. That's Paula. Ah. And I think that'll be more interesting, you know, it would be more organic. All right, so that link right there is to the guide. Basically how to, you know, fold, and I even said, you know, to glue. Now, here's the thing that you want to keep in mind. Oh. We are going to be doing two paper, or, you know, we're going to do a, a fold, like a kind of a gate fold. A fold in and then a fold together. I believe okay. that's a gate fold. Sandra Leon said, Please make them laser printed, then we can foil them. Perfect. That would be awesome, and I would love to see that, because I think these patterns would be amazing in a foil. So, okay. Um, I can do that. Here's the thing. So, whenever you're creating this, you're going to, we're going to end up putting a, a, a seam binding. That's what I really like to use. You can use, like, the book binding tape, but then you have to, like, do it both sides, and that's a little bit chunky for this paper and I really loved how the seam binding worked last time so we're gonna do that again you know if it works stick with it absolutely don't question <laughs> no, success no, yeah like, I mean if you're just into changing things up that's fine too but you know. and grins. <laughs> if it's uh, good I don't usually do that no. <laughs> once you got a system stick with it um, so yeah, we'll be putting the seam binding in. Now, here's one of the cool things that you can do and, and see how I have like the, you know, basically seam to seam, but really what you want to do for the seam binding part of it, for two of them, if you want to hide it, again, it's really not all that noticeable depending on what kind of ribbon or seam binding you use, but we're going to end up running it through there and there too. So, see, so you have one of these with the little pocket thing that's going to look yeah, we white. Don't, we don't sew here unless it's slow stitching. Yeah. We do have a machine, but we, we don't have anywhere to put it. Yeah. It would have to get the kitchen table, and we already have lots of things there. Well, and we like to kind of keep the kitchen table open yeah, for eating. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to. And scraping mats. <laughs> so, one of the things that you can do is you can take your little scrap piece. It usually fits there pretty nicely and you can trim that up if we wanna do that. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and glue it on there. That reinforces your pocket also. It does, it makes it stronger. <coughs> I've been thinking about that with my project that I've got coming up here. Did you read what she said? <laughs> Eating on the kitchen table cock. <laughs> yes, I know that, but I think that's kind of like the, the first zone that gets taken over by, by the arty projects. Is my spreader on here? And it said you could use a narrow duct tape that comes in many colors including several black and white prints yes oh yeah that would you could even use washi you just probably want to make sure that you reinforce it with glue like as your binding method and double it up for sure and, and says i have trouble with painted papers cracking up fold lines yeah they all do and, and even these um i, I and those may those do somewhat yes these do somewhat as well but once we collage on them, and I sometimes even go back, like with the Posca markers, and run the seams. Um, for this particular kind of built, see, you can already see it crackling there. I'm okay with that. Pocket square too, if you really so desire. And Jeanette says, "I like the idea of hiding it in the seams. Certainly can." Yes. So see, now I have. A, they can go together, which is what we're gonna do. Now, 
for this, I'm probably going to use the art glitter glue. I tell you, my thumb is just so sore. And I think part of it is this darn glue. I'm trying to squeeze it out. Because that really hurt. <laughs> Arthritis. It's settling in, I suppose. Now, does this come in different widths, Mariah? What's that? The seam binding stuff. Or is this I think it? so, because I have, um, it was funny, because Mo sent us some, and then so did Judy P. I don't remember which came from, you know, whom, because there was much talk about the seam binding and, and what people considered seam binding, and then there was some other stuff. But see, yeah, there's this green that's really, I mean, pretty cool. Well, and the reason that it, it works yeah. well is because it's cut on the bias, so it's not going to uh, pull and wrinkle. <laughs> oh, yeah, that uh, that's wider. Yeah. I, I don't know that I love that color, but no. if you're hiding it, what difference does it make? Well, this is not, you are going to see it sort of in the margin or the, the fold. Okay, so that's why you're using black. I like the black. Yes, indeedy, indeedy. So... And you want to leave, because you don't want to butt it right up against each other. No. You want to leave. Enough so that it will have room to, to fold. And, and also accommodate the things that we're going to be stuffing in it. So yes. wider would be maybe possibly better, but we've got what we got. Okay, somebody wants a close-up of that seam binding. Do you have any that still has the words on it of what it is? Um, Maybe. That might be helpful. And oh, and look, I got this. Well, and this is a little bit different, this stuff, because it has it, like it's folded Well, this is what she said. In. Seam binding can also come single fold or double yeah. fold. <coughs> this stuff is my fate. Well, see, and this one's folded and has some kind of, I would assume maybe if you iron that, does it heat it up and stick to things? Oh, no, Anne would probably know that. Anne will know. And yeah, some of this is folded. The really the best for this oh, the folded stuff is called bias tape. There we go. See, there was that conversation when we got this stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the not folded. And Anne said that is iron on. Okay. Could you do iron it on paper, or would it burn your paper if you would you have to get it so hot that you would burn your paper? I don't know. That would be something to think about. Something we're trying. I, I, uh, we, we do have an iron, but... I'd rather have... Like, if we had a little soldering iron, that would kind of work a little better hmm. for this project. <laughs> what we're doing here. Okay, I'm going to flip that over like that. So I need... Yeah, a bunch of people said iron on. Yeah. Okay. You could cover the paper and try it. Yeah. I, you could just use regular ribbon. I mean, really, whatever floats your boat. And what's going to hold up with the paper? Ann has mini irons. Not like a whole bunch, but M-I-N-I. -I. Oh, a mini. <laughs> M-I. <laughs> I've, I've ironed paper also. I used to earn my money. I liked it when it was all crisp. And Joan wants to know if you could use double-faced tape. Well, um, you could, but here, here's the reason that I'm thinking that Mariah's using that is because it's more for a foldability thing. Uh -huh. When you start getting into the tape again, it, it can be stiff. It, sometimes it, it pulls. Loose. Yeah. This is, once you get this down, I mean, it can take quite a bit of abuse. It's it's more stretchy. It, it gives a bit more. Um, sometimes with tape, it's going to pull, and then it either it like kind of pulls off of the paper or just kind of pulls the paper with it. So that's, you know, one thing there. Yeah, especially if when you start putting some stress on it with a bunch mm -hmm. of stuff in the pocket. Yeah. 
Exactly. All right, so now we're going to come back through. Yuta says it's bad luck to iron money. Oh, is it? <laughs> well, I never have any cast these days, so maybe that's why. <laughs> now, what you're making right now is just mostly going to be the insides. Right? The insides. Well... It's, it's the book. It's the structure. Ah. And you want to do these inside parts first. The bigger, long pockets. And then once you're done, come back and do the... I'm just thinking about how I could use this. For your... Mm -hmm. You could also leave these like flaps if you really wanted. Um, and I don't know if I want something on the inside of this one. I might as well. I mean, I have this. So I'm going to use it. I should have done that before I got all cutty cutty with it, but that's fine. The seam binding that you're using is specifically made not to stretch out of shape. So that when you run your finger across it and you're pull, putting that glue on there, mm -hmm. that's that's why you want that kind rather than just, you know, some oh. willy-nilly ribbon. Well, there we I go. I think. I don't know. Helps out here. Tape over time often changes paper as it ages and it mm -hmm. leaves yellow lines. Mm -hmm. Or it just kind of falls apart and comes off in chunky things. Now the binding tape, like, you know, for binding books, yes, the, would be great. The tops are pockets also. Yes. And we'll get to that here in just a second. Um, we really love this, you know, gaffer tape stuff. But the thing is, is see, you have to do it both sides, otherwise it's going to be sticky. So then it makes it really thick. Yuta wants to know what weight is the paper that you're using. This is the 32 pound hammer mill. That's what we print all of our laser print stuff on because A, it's really great for gel printing and B, it's just, it, it laser prints quite well. Are you gluing that on the right side? Yeah, I wanted it inside because I want, just in case if you, if you kind of give a little looky-loo in, just, you know. Panka is cooking and watching. What are you cooking, Panka? <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to close these pockets up. And Texture Junkies is super happy you're getting time to do projects. <laughs> Thank you. Now, something else to keep in mind about the whole pocket business here. Ooh, salmon with vegetables. Yum. Here's the thing you want to think about. If you end up collaging all of this and you don't really want to, like, have to stuff things down into the pockets, but with these being the little side pockets that they are, it isn't that big of a deal. Um... And you can have your inner pockets going different ways. I may end up, rather than doing two more like this, because I don't want, I should have thought about that before. So that, yeah, it's kind of here or there. Putting the seam binding here, because I want the other pocket to be, hold on one second. I'll show you as I telling me versus just trying to explain it. Um, Sue Davis wants to know what laser printing printer we use. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> um, we have a HP uh, I don't, I can't remember the model. They don't sell it anymore anyway. Um, they have new models 
that are yeah, that's similar. The reason I, we got it is because it was discontinued and it was really super cheap. All the rest of them were horribly expensive. Well, and we also found out that I think because is that one. Is it Wi-Fi? We had to connect a... Oh, yeah, no. And the reason it was cheap was because... She's like, it was so I much cheaper even, than the other ones. And I didn't even know what she was talking about. That, you know, I just ordered it. Yeah, you want to make sure. Or, like, so what we ended up using are the little hotspot thing. Um, Brad could probably talk to it if he's in the chat. Like, the thing that's connected to it. So if you accidentally do buy a printer that is not Wi-Fi, but want to connect it to your Wi-Fi and you have Mac computers and things of that nature, that, that was the way to go. Because otherwise you have to make sure it's near a plug-in. <laughs> Becca, make sure that you post your recipe in Makers, okay? I love that fresh salmon. And sometimes we order these boxes from Alaska. Well, we used to go and, and buy them and send them down, but um, there's a place that you can order and I mean, we don't do that very often. It's for very special occasions because it's horribly mm -hmm. expensive. It's usually when Steve and Susie come. But <clears throat> it's, it's wonderful. There's nothing like eating salmon that you just caught in the river. Just nothing to compare. Okay. <clears throat> so what okay, I... Now, just a minute. Somebody asked a question here. It says, can you do an accordion book with these tag holders? Absolutely. Of course. Could. You could configure these any which way that you want. Um, Absolutely could. Yeah, because I could fold it up into accordion, but I like this whole gatefold thing because it's like it folds in, you know, and it does its whole... Dolt. And that's because we're going to be using it to hold a lot of tags. Right. When you do the accordion thing, you know, when you're flipping the pages and everything, stuff has a tendency to fall out. Yeah, it gets a little trickier because this is the one that, you know... Oh, Joni says salmon is cheaper than steak right now. Well, there, there you go. Um, yeah, the, the pro problem is make sure that your salmon is... You know, not farmed. Yes. Make All right. Sure so, from the ocean. what I want to do here is. Do uh, you already have your pocket attached there? Oh, okay. I do. How, how's that going to work? You're going to have to be really well, I want this precise. One. Yeah, I want this one over here, and I'm going to put my little that business like oh, that. Oh, you'll cover it. I see. Yeah. Okay. And the reason that I'm saying this, and, and, and now that it doesn't have a pattern on it, it's probably a little easier to see. I want this sealed part of the pocket to be at the edge on the outer part so that way when you fold it in it helps uh -huh. keep stuff it, in yes, rather, rather than, than shooting, shooting it out. It out. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> know this because you know. It, she said it's not wild caught salmon from Alaska. Alright so since this is going to be my end one. Oh, Maxine lives five minutes from the Kitimat River. Oh wow. That would be great. Now, if I wanted to hide this. I do most of the cooking here. Her and Brad do. I clean. It's, that's a big surprise to y'all, right? <laughs> Being very mean today. today. I could do, you know, like the seam binding half in there, and I'm not, um, I'm just not going to obsess about that because I'd rather just, you know, make my pocket move on with life. I'm going to do the seam binding on the outer part of it, probably on the back side rather on, than on the inside. So there's kind of two options of doing this. So even if you had your pockets all sealed up, that's okay. Yeah. Not, not a, you know, it's not going to be the end of the world. By any means. Brad says, see what we all do, our part we do. Everybody has a job. Now, Brad cooks some awesome stuff, too. Yes. And it's really nice because we, we cook different things. We have our own specialties. I think it's a good idea to reinforce these pockets. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot easier if you do them now than if you do them later. Yes. You know, when they're starting to fall apart. And plus it's just, yeah. Oh, the salmon is from Chile. Hmm. Interesting. 
That's what had in it. I would be willing to try that, you know, as long as it's not coming out of a fish tank. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and seal that up. I try obviously to line up the papers as well as I possibly can but you're gonna see that I will come back with um, the Posca markers and again like come through the edges make sure that those are kind of cleaned up because I really don't like how like the white edge even of just the edge of the paper shows that sort of thing bothers me um, so we're gonna make sure that goes down in there. Okay. You can go ahead and seal that up. And like, I'll come along and make sure that those edges get locked in. Oh yeah, I just thought about that. Okay, so because I folded the pocket the other way, you're gonna wanna seal the bottom. Oh, well, Griffin Child says using gel print backing scraps would give it a lot of stability. Oh, yes. Definitely. Yeah. So why are you, why are you closing that? Um, because I want this, this part needs to be a pocket as well. And because I had uh, folded this back the other way, because I want my pockets to go like this, and I want these parts to be different, uh, okay. right? Okay, got it, got it. Because I like that whole idea. And see, what I'll probably try to do here is on the other side, I want, so I've kind of gotten the very geometric, very, or straight line, linear, more, curve stuff this is a good mix but also has more linear I like that whole thing I like that this is sort of opposite I could have read I could have done this one in a different pattern I probably still can I could go through and cut and just put another piece over it but you know you can peek in there see what's going on there but you guys can help me kind of decide out of these which I'm kind of liking the bloopy loop pattern with it over here on this end thoughts yeah okay oh we have a, a 50 maxine it's 50 years a wet 50 year wedding anniversary oh, congratulations yes tracy likes the loops i do too okay i, I like the loops a lot I would have brought the chopper out that would go a lot faster and my lines would be a lot cleaner, but. It involves you after you clean off your work surface. Well. People go off camera and cut off stuff all the I time. I could have had the thing over here and chopped it real quick, but we're almost done with this at this point. It's sort of. And Devin says, Devin for art, Devin Rex for art says all these patterns wonderful together. I like the effect graphic effect of the black and white. I do too. We do also. But then, also, we add color. With the we, yeah, tags yeah. and just even, gonna we're going to collage on this. All kinds of fun things. Okay. Yeah, so this one's going to go down there. Now we got to figure out which way our pocket's going to flip on this one. Terrible buffering at my end. Anyone else? No, actually, we're doing pretty good today. Yeah, we're doing very good. The other day, when we discovered that we had some technical problems with the, mm -hmm. I, I don't know, whatever, you know, makes the thing go, go. <laughs> Network needs to be rebooted every once in a while. Yes, it, it had too much of a cache in it. There. So, and I that, think that looks cool. Now, this there. I think 
it needs to be something darker. I think so too, to, to ground it. Yeah. What you got? Well, I've got this one. I don't one. like that. Oh, hold on. This one? You don't like this? Okay. That bottom one down there might be. Uh, I don't know. Let me cut it off because I think you get. Yeah, it's a lot of information. <laughs> Rogan's Sonia says there's no buffering in South Australia. We're happy to hear that. Xandra said hi. Hi, hi, Xandra. Hello, Z. Okay, so that's an option. I don't know what else I need. Yeah, here. I didn't print out a bunch of others, so that's really kind of. <laughs> yeah, I, kind of, I don't like that. It's kind of it. But it kind of has a little bit of the squarey stuff. Because the other one is it. bloopy loops. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, good. I'm glad that we agree on <laughs> this. It was really <laughs> the option. Now, remember that these are all available as stencils. So, if you own the stencils, you could even make your own black and white papers. You could. And then as you print them, you will notice that your paper becomes more, uh, you're, you're coating it with a plastic film. Yes. So, I always, you know, think that that's... Yes. All right. This time, I'm going to actually glue the bottom first because, see, I'm folding my, my flap up this way. Now, normally, for the most stable thing, you fold it this way. But because I want to add this and get the reverse of the pocket, that is what I am going to do here. Hmm. But it needs to be glued upon the thing, otherwise things are going to just slide right out of the back. Okie dokie. Well, see, there's things that you should think about. Uh, these patterns remind me of old doodle art posters. That's interesting. Well, Heather, hope you're feeling better. Gosh, you know. We, we went through so much of that for so long that I, I really have a lot of empathy for people who are not. Marta says greetings. Hello, Marta. No, it's M A R T A. I oh, wasn't. Yeah, that's Marta. Oh, okay. There's no huh in there. The. No, but we do have a Martha. That's what I thought. But that's Marta. <laughs> Marta Hall. Mm -hmm. Martha Lee. Martha Lee. Yes, I, I remember getting things from. Uh, you want to be careful that you don't actually go ahead and glue that down to the other. That's what I'd be doing. <laughs> Turning it over and gluing it down. Doesn't make a very good pocket that way. No. I mean, you could. You could make like a faux pocket. <laughs> I hate it when they sew up the pockets. <laughs> really? I am just like, you know. Mm. Is that because you want a pattern on the inside of the flap or because one print will show through the other on folding it back? That so, is correct. Yet. Yes. Oh, of. Melty Morocco would work. Did you? I didn't use that one, but I, I tell you what, because, um, so how many patterns do I have here? I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I can add Melty Morocco to this set. And then that would give you, what was that? Oh, and the fuzzy one, folders. Two, yes, I remember those. Five, six. So I'd give you seven different patterns to work with. I might have to add another one so that way that they can, you know, enter. Or I might flip it because that's the other thing that whenever I made these, they are the reverse of the stencil. Because right. they're more interesting as the lines versus, you know, the inner pieces. Yes. Everybody understand that. Get, you know, All right. 
Okay. She's going to empty her cash. Good idea. <laughs> okay, so now, like I said, we want to do this on the back yes, side. It, it, it would give her some diagonal lines, and I think that that, I mean, you sort of do with the circles, but yeah. Yeah. It's good to have some diagonals to break things up and keep, the diagonals make for movement. All right, I want to make sure, remember, we want our closed part on the outer flaps or panels. I'm saying this for you guys and myself. <laughs> I'm trying to go through this pretty quickly, but like not so super duper duper fast that, you know, we're, I'm just going to trim that, make sure I didn't make it too short. Okay. Yeah, I'll leave a little extra. Leave a little, you can trim that off, but I don't want to deal with the whole thing. Sandra says, stencils, patterns are a good look. I think that they are, too. Now, I try to leave... Oh... What is that? About a eighth. Probably a little more than an eighth on there. The other thing is, is you can come back and just roll the glue off later. <laughs> oh, Kathy just showed up. Hello, everyone. Hello, hey, Kathy. Kathy. Make sure it's not glued to your well the nice thing is so i've covered the cutting board because it's absolutely like stained and disgusting and yellowy and gross and it also has chunks of it from me scraping <laughs> but this is just covered in the freezer paper the same stuff that pete we both use like on our desk parts too yeah. so it if you pull up pretty quick it releases yes now you don't want to leave it on there because then it just pulls up all the plasticky stuff along with it <laughs> that's a whole other thing Okay. So, welcome to all of you new people that are coming in. Please do say hello in the chat so we can say hello back. Give those thumbsy upsies if you haven't already or if you're still unsure. Totally fine. Hang out with us for a little bit. Chit chat with the people in the chat. Yeah, and Dana says, I love these patterns together. I do think that they're... And they really have a, a bit of an Asian feel, but it's a modern Asian feel rather than an ancient Asian Well, and feel. mixed in with that craftsman style, which has a lot of Asian influence. It does. Good point. Is this cardstock? No, it is not. It's 32 pound hammer hill mill. Hammer mill. Hammer mill. It's the paper mill <laughs> on the hill. Marcus says, all computers think she should be the Mark Ha as well. <laughs> Isn't that a bummer? And then Martha seeking for art. Martha. She, mm -hmm. Yes, the real, the, the, <laughs> the, the, the actual the, Martha. <laughs> ha, Martha. <laughs> well, Martha, we're yeah. glad you got here. And You could glue this to a little heavier white paper if you would so desire and then just cover it. Mm -hmm. But w we really feel that, you know, the double, the, the layer, mm -hmm. I don't know, we haven't had any problems thus far. Uh, this thing and is we've stopped up. that thing and I drag it in and out at least two or three times. Yeah, this thing has held up really well. Now, like I said, I came along, covered the edges with markers, you know, things of that nature. Now, see, on this one... Well, I did one in and one out. <laughs> I went both ways. 
I don't think it matters. There really isn't any wrong way to get the binding stuff on there. It really comes down what, to what, what, whatever is your preference. Whatever your preference is, what you remember to do. Yes. That's the right way. And I'm actually kind of excited that it's going to cover up this one because I don't like that it folded right there on that white line or where, you know, the pattern is white. Because I think that looks a little like I forgot something. <laughs> I don't know why I feel that way, but I do. I don't know why Anne is washing her binding tape. She's what? Yeah, she said she washed it. I wonder if it's autocorrect and she did something else. She says I love the binding tape idea. Yeah, I I am so in love with this stuff. And I don't know when when was it that you figured that out? What were you, what was the first time? I, I kind of feel like it was this thing, oh, but I there was a I big discussion was, about it for like prior. many streams. <laughs> I, it had to be prior. You I, used it someplace else. And I think part of it was that, you know, because we do love the binding tape, but it being as thick as it is. Yeah. And, and as wide as it is. Now you can get, you can get thinner. But you still would have to come back in and double it up so it's not sticky wherever yeah. the seam is. And it's the, also a lot more substantial. It's going to show more than mm -hmm. this. This this stuff really you if once if you wanted to and you could go over it with the paper mm -hmm. and you wouldn't even know it was there. Yeah. The binding the yes. book binding tape you're gonna know. Well, it's we're, we're talking about both, Lisa. So right now what I am using is the binding tape for sewing. See how thin it oh. is and I forgot about that. It's so fantastic. I love this. I love it. I love this width. Um, if you get it a little thicker, I mean, or wider. Um, yeah, and that's good because you can see how thin it is. Mm -hmm. You can actually see through the pattern yeah. through it. And uh, Deb C. said, remember sewing through paper amounts to pre-perforation. -perfor yes. And that may not be the best idea for a bendy place. Exactly. So true. And why sew when you can glue? <laughs> that's, that's my... <laughs> Absolutely. That, that can be my little quote. <laughs> why sew when you have glue? Lisa says, I'm in good supply of that. <clears throat> well, I'm going to go through that bag and, and check uh, out the colors. Oh, are you? I, I, I may use that instead of the tape. Well, remember, even on the front of this one, I used that... Um, Hold on, I'll show you. I used the wider stuff to put on that little flippy pocket business. Oh, yeah, on the inside, I remember that. Mm -hmm. I don't get so wrapped up in it being, you know, totally perfect. Um, the main thing I want is a nice... I want a nice fold margin. I don't... And I, I even said it in... In that video, I know that there's probably a name for this part of a, a book or a folder. To me, it's like the folded oh, margin. You can ink up light colored binding tape too. Well, of course you can. Oh yeah. Duh. I could even, I could even shell plate it. Yeah. That might be fun. Yeah. Hey, uh, thank you. Now somebody else said something here that I, I'm. That was pretty interesting. Fabri-Tac. Fabric. Fabric. We have. Do we have? We have. Kind some of. of. That. I think it, it's very similar. Some of that awesome glue that. Uh, now it's kind of stinky, but um, it does work. That Sharon sent us. All right. So now. Spine, Mariah. It's called the spine. Spine. Thank you. About fourteen people said that. Now, see is how it a... nicely that flipped open and, and closed. It, it it doesn't, you know, it it doesn't hamper the movement. And I see, and I didn't even plan this, but this is quite brilliant. 
that because I did the outer binding oh, spine. Oh, this is so complicated. This is making my brain hurt. Look at how nice that is. Cause that this edging, is, you don't have to do anything to it. She didn't plan that. I did not plan like, that. But that's just, pretty brilliant. You know, sugar house luck. Sugar house luck. Sugar honey. That's some sugar honey right there. Okay, so that is the. the, <laughs> the, the, the it's called the crack. <laughs> it's called the crack. See, yeah, because his spine to me would mean like the outer part. Well, the center part of the book is also called the gutter. Gutter. I think gutter is probably more proper. More proper. And Star Traveler says, love the black and white pattern in the seam winding. It really works quite well. All right, so what do we want to do next? Do I show more things? Oh, I know what I want to show because um, this is a very good time to do it. Um, some of it's probably going to get covered up, but not a, you know. Oh, Fabrifix is silicon based. Well, silicon is very flexible. a happy little accident. It certainly mm -hmm. is. So, I like to make sure. Kathy gave you a thumbs up. Thank you, Kathy. Ooh. Now, see, I came through on that. So I need to be careful. Oh, yeah, don't be mussing it about. You'll be getting on your papers. Yeah. If it didn't dry quickly. I think the word you are looking for is gusset. Ooh, that could be it. I feel like the Posca marker, because it's an acrylic based, you know, marker, sort of seals those up too. So you tend to have less worry about the cracking. Feeling real brave Susan, doing this. Yeah, boy, I'll say. On, uh, on live stream. Uh, I'm certainly not going to be doing anything like that. <laughs> Fabric fusion is also acetone based, so it'll mess. It will mess us that nail polish too. Oh well, we don't wear any nail polish. Yeah. I can't breathe. <laughs> I can't. It's, it's wait suffocates. Long enough for it to dry. It suffocates me from my fingers. Now, I'm going to show you guys another little thing that I like to do with these. Okay, so, in the other one, remember I was telling you that we use some of that seam binding here. It actually extends all the way to here. It's, it's been hidden. But if you watch that process video, you will see more of that. And, and same thing over here. But see, like I colored that part. So uh, that, that one's really wide. I'm impressed with the free lining too. <laughs> Just being very brave. I, yeah. I would have slipped over there and... But see, it's so nice because the fabric. Yeah. Now, one of the other things that I want to do is I want to rip open some of these pockets. Which do you think? Do we want to kind of go with the outer ones? Or rip them all? Rip them differently? Like, I could make it kind of come across here like this. Mmm. Well, how are you gonna? You're gonna rip. How are you gonna rip where the tape is? You'll see. You'll cut it. You'll see. It'll rip. Well, 
Are you just you're just going to cut it wherever it is? That yeah, it, it stops there. Well, do you think now is the time to do that? Is what I'm asking. I, I don't, you know. Because I think you should wait till you get some of your other elements. On. Because that could be a determining factor in the angle of the dangle of your rip. Okay. That sounds like a plan. Lisa Minga says, let her rip. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. That was kind of my thought about it, because we could kind of let that determine what we want to do. See how that helps just... will have white paper under the ripped parts. Yes, you are right about that. But we will also remedy that as well. Yes, that, that is taken care and, of. And, and you can, like, if you use double-sided paper. papers of any sort, whether it's if you print gel print on both sides or if it's just scrap with paper, then, you know, you're going to have that other paper come through. But because we have used these laser prints in the way that we have, we're going to come in and only just fill in wherever I rip open the pocket. We'll fill in different things. Some of it might just be a solid piece of cardstock. Um, some of it just might be some collage stuff that comes through or whatever. But we'll make it, you know, some cool breaks in the pattern with those ripped sections. I mean, or we don't have to do that at all. It could be very simple and we just... But it's nice to be able to see the tags. Like, if you use the, these larger sections, the tall pockets for the tall tags, you want some of that to show. So it is nice to, to rip them down a bit. Well, the other alternative is you could take one of those fancy little cutty things and, and cut them. Oh, hello, Barbara from Austin, Texas. Or if you want I to... I like Austin. Or if you want to do them um, prior to making the big pocket, I just feel like it's kind of easier and it seemed to work out pretty well. But I know what you're saying. So, like, where the seam is, you kind of have to stop there. And then what I did is I just colored it in. But I still had then the the, the uh, support. I see. Okay. Yeah. So you're, you're not ripping ac across any seams. No. You're just ripping down in each pocket. Yes. Everybody got that. So do you want to do that now or later? I, I, I don't have a preference. I think you should do it now so people can see what Ooh. it looks like. And I just broke my... I gotta re-glue that. I pushed it. Oh no. <laughs> That's alright. She broke loose. I did. <laughs> Barbara says, I like when you are chatting. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm kind of bored over here, but um, y'all need to tell me funny things and you keep know, her so entertained. Keep me entertained because I'm sitting here going, thinking about all the things that I could be doing. That you want to be Although showing? I really, it's kind of because the thing that I've, I've got back here, I'm using um, cardboard from Pot Pies, Marie Calendar. <laughs> hey, it's great cardboard. She loves that Now, cardboard. I did, I saved oh, a look, cereal I... box, but... <laughs> It's just too floppy. And the heavy duty cardboard's just too thick. And mm -hmm. it's, it's hard to work with. So I'm hoping that this is going to be like the best white cardboard to use. And I know that this seems tedious and probably silly to a lot of people, but. Yeah, I think you can you can quit with your a anal tendencies here and get to ripping here. You can do that other stuff some other time. Yeah, See, she just can't stop. She's got to come in and do a little hootie do. <laughs> because I think what be what would be cool is if you really, you know, if you thought about repeating. And I know we talked about, you know, using all kinds of different things. But if in your, underneath your rip, mm -hmm. if you would use a pattern from the opposite yes. side of the 
Are you ready to rip? Mm -hmm. no, I'm, yeah, whatever. I'm ready for you to rip. Mr. Crosses, I think I'll just glue more ribbon inside. <laughs> I, I, hey, and it's also, it's going to give you the extra advantage of having it reinforced. Now see how she just went up that seam there? I had visions that she was going to rip across it, but that is not the case. I need to write three calendars to find out where they're getting their cardboard. Well, I think part of the reason that it, it is so quite nice and, and whatever is because they um, it, it's printed aqueous coated or, uh, you know, a coating of some sort for like, you know, food related. So that way, like it doesn't get smooshy when it's in the freezer from the condensation, you know. And see, don't worry about that sort of thing. Now, you don't want to rip into it. See, it was starting to kind of pull into the paper. And it's okay, because we're going to glue other things on top of that. So it's not like the end of the world. It's not the end of the world, y'all. just isn't. Anne said that she would be very anxious about ripping at that point. <laughs> and see, what I like about... Um, what I like about... I, I, I leave the, the exposed, torn piece on purpose like I, I tear that way purposefully <laughs> I will show you why are we gonna rip all these pockets I think I should well now that you've started but I think you need to you know maybe not rip so far down or, or well, remember you, you rip further I, you I want, yeah you want to they're kind of all looking like they're the same they won't be fair I have to buy pies to make the sacrifice hey you can't beat old Marie calendar I mean, her, her pies are like, I think, some of the best. See, and you can even then reuse these. You just slip it back in here. Oh, yeah. And glue down in there. Now, one of the other things I like to do to make a very dramatic statement. Got to watch out for your glued edge. Popping those seams open. You can always glue them back. I love the Posca for this. The other cool thing you could do here is... She said, she said her heart stopped when the ripping started. <laughs> I guess we should have put a warning. Now here, here goes Mariah with her, her little coloring the seams in. Yeah, the, the torn edge. The deckling. She's been, she's been known to paint them too. Mm -hmm. Yes, so this would be a, like a cool thing like if we wanted gold. The barber's going to eat pie too. <laughs> hey, you know... Makes you feel good twice. Tastes good. Then you've got a box. I see that. Mmm. Looking good. Now, if we were to start thinking about... Okay. The little table's kind of... Now, this isn't exactly what I'm going to use, but... Um, That's my indigo. Oh, is this it? This is my. Hey, it was on my. Fresh and blue. It was well, on. You were just supposed to show it. You weren't supposed to use it. It's on my table. I'm using it. I might have wanted to use that. Well, there's another half. You can have half, and I can have half. Well, you probably used the good part. Probably. I'm not technically using it yet. Joni says she likes cereal boxes. I, I just find them a little bit floppy now. They might work good for, like, um... Alright, so, but see? For the structure Ooh. of my... Uh, because I'm going to have a lot of tags in And my, then, see, we I can come in here and just start collaging something else. Like, it could even start there and go back behind here. Or even just put the other piece there, if you really, you know... I thought Want? you were going to give me that other part. Uh, you can have it. Here you go. I look for brown boxes inside without the shine. I'm not sure what that means. So doesn't that look lovely? And I'm going to rip this one, but oh, I'm going to... Oh, we have mozzarella sticks <laughs> also. Yeah, they have the same, same, same kind of... 
But now Marie's are white. <coughs> That's the other nice thing. You know, you know if something's going to show through. All right. So you might want to make to start the rip until your tape is good and dry. Yeah. Oh, dog biscuits are nice and thick. Huh. <laughs> Check those out. <laughs> are you deciding which are the best boxes? Mm -hmm. Cheese it cracker boxes are pretty sturdy. I, I love cheese it. it's Bourbon boxes. Cheese that free column? zone. <laughs> LOL. Yes. <laughs> I really liked your bourbon box. I was totally up. I, I was looking at my poor, sad little cheese box. All right, well, what do you want me Brown to... Brown cheese box. I mean, I could start collaging things, but I, I don't know how exciting that is. I don't know... Somebody ask if you're using your papers. Yes, ma'am, these are our papers. Yes. And we will make this available as a laser-printed, purchasable item. Not downloadable. But I could cut out acetate windows before gluing. Oh, yeah. see, that's an option. Mm -hmm. So you could have see-through. Yes, exactly, Carrie. Mm -hmm. That would be... He couldn't rip it. <laughs> you you got to be able to, like, just kind of let, let it go where it's going to go and, and be okay with the, you know, torn bits here, just knowing that that's going to get taken care of. It's all okay. Bye, Darcy. We trust that you will. She, she, she must just be hanging out and doing something else. Yeah, she's, she's I on. I have some rice cracker boxes that are very white and smooth. Yes. We have <coughs> some that we got almond flour, not F-L-O-W-E-R, but F-L-O-U-R, almond flour crackers in. <laughs> All right, what's next? What, what, what would you guys like to see? Do you want to see me starting the gluing down of that? Well, now I handed you a bunch of tissue mm -hmm. papers that you were supposed to be using. Yeah. I, I have, don't know what you did. I have those them. over here. I mean, remember, we even have, remember I, 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 I sprayed this piece? Well, these are kind of my fire ones. Oh, that's not the ones that I was thinking about. I think I handed them all to you that are bright. No, I don't like that one necessarily. I think it's too dull. Oh, that would be wonderful, Tracy. She says she's, she's going to make one of these and fill it up with inspirational, encouraging quotes and give it to her daughter. Oh, that oh. would be wonderful. Boy, let me tell you what. If you're finishing up your last semester of anything, you need a bit of inspiration. <laughs> yes, and just like. feel like it. Yeah. <sighs> Not that I actually know that. but I might end up with a two-inch high page if I start freeform ripping. <laughs> Has been known to happen, Anne. Yeah, I think that you know the ripping could be considered maybe like, yeah, I don't know that it's expert level, but it is definitely you know you have to be very confident in, in the fact that you're okay with where wherever it's going to lead. It's 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 one of those things. See, that's how you. Yes, and it's, let's fix up those rip. Parts, so it's all finished and half of us do not have anxiety for two days. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what? And Tracy says that sounds cool. And Stitching Art says, oops. And Urban says, such a good mom. I know. Okay, one panel. I can, I can stick with one panel. Let's start it because I like kind of moving this direction with them. Um, Reform ripping is in the AP Advanced I, I Degree think... Program. <laughs> Everybody's sort of like a little anxious about all of this. That's funny. Um, okay. Could you just complete one panel so we can imagine how the finished piece will look? Yes. I think that that's what we're going for, Carrie. Yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, I think we are. And some of those are prints that... Look at I see, I love those very... Mm -hmm. um, yeah, those are the ones that I, I, I thought would be nice. Because they're still a Ooh, graphic. but then look at that. I like that. Because it's the same. Well, it's actually, it's one of the other ones. It's it's the Craftsman Squares. See, this is Craftsman Rank Rectangles. 
Oh, and I, I don't know if I gave you all of those, but I gave you some. I like the idea of that in the pocket. I really like that too. Okay. But now I do have this. This might be nice too. I don't know, this green's got to be. The brown with the green makes me a little, ugh. Oh, okay. Well, I think that's but hey, here's, hey, look at, hey, hey, hey. What? <laughs> Hey. Yes. Okay, so which do you guys think? I think you need to use both of them. Well, I will, but I'm working on one pocket. Oh, one pocket. So which should be the, you know, I mean, start out with a, hey, how you doing, bang, or a little well, more now, subtle. Let's, let's see here what is next to it. Because it's, yeah, I think you need to do the one you just had down the that one over on the beginning page because then you skip a page and you've got that same design. All right, and this would probably look better with the more, see if we swap it because you have like the the arcs. Yes. With the linear inside. And then you inside. have the squares which just, you know, now this is there. This is yes, all I more like organic, organic. But yellow I'm, in the first page, I agree with you. Okay, we're gonna do that. Now, how much yellow do I show uh, of the border? Because, see, I don't know that we want it to kind of, like, come in straight away like that. I kind of am liking it more there. Oh, that's just because that was the color that was down. Okay. There it wasn't any aesthetic decision. Although, I do think it's quite lovely. Yeah, and I may even keep some of this to, to bring in later. Like, just... And use it with the red. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I'm telling you, my... It's just not happy. It says, oh my gosh, I'm going to take two weeks to plan mine out. Now, what you just need to do is you just need to jump into it because you're going to mess up and make mm -hmm. mistakes. But the whole thing about it is if you never start, then you're not ever going to be making mistakes yeah. so that you can figure out what you need to do next time. That is correct. Stitching art says we need a box off. <laughs> yes, Barbara Mariah is making the book for tags. Now, I'm going to make one, too, but you, you must know, and I, I don't want to hear any judgy. <laughs> Nobody's going to be judgy judginess. on you. Well, I might be a little bit, but I'm going to try not to because you're being real sensitive lately, and I don't want to, you know, stomp on you anymore. Yeah, uh, the thing about everybody realizes the paper tears one way and not another. Yeah. Uh, Mariah, you should also color in the middles of the loopy loops with red. Oh, that's an idea. Ooh, that's a cool idea. Oh, I have some stuff coming. Yes, she does. I have some different red embossing powders. Because I was like, all right, I don't know. I know that we don't really need, we don't need anything by any means. But I, I was buying some other inks, ink pads. And then I was sort of looking at the embossing stuff because I did buy another embossing, like the clear, because I think we're going to probably use that quite a bit. I'm thinking that stamps might come into this in some cool ways that we didn't have that the last time. That's so right. So we should we incorporate that, those that wasn't things. in our toolbox. But I, I oh, got Fire there. Engine Red embossing so, powder. Okay, somebody said that they were going to clean, but they felt the urge to try. The, oh, you can always clean. It's and always there. It, 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 you know, it doesn't go anywhere. Now, this is one of my little tricks. This is how I, like, I mean, I don't measure anything. I just, I, I, I rub it, and I put a little crease, and then I'm thinking that that's going to, it should rip per, uh, okay. There you go. Yeah. I'm on the hunt for pastel embossing powders. Hey, well, remember, if you use... That clear stuff that we used, you can use any kind of marker underneath it. You know, color it, color it, and then put that clear stuff on, and you've got any color you want. Now, here's the other thing. I know some people are saying, well, God, wouldn't have this been easier to do, like, prior to making the pockets and all of that? Yes, if you want to plan it out in that way. I, I don't work that way on this sort of thing. Like, it, it just has to sort of evolve and, and yes there's certainly way more efficient way to get this done but I didn't know that you know this was going to end up next to this and this and this I could sit here and plan it out for three four weeks five months whatever 
and never get it done. This is part of the process. It, it, it just, this is how it evolves. It's not ever efficient. <laughs> That's not how I work. I, I work very <laughs> not at organically and react to each layer. And I think that, the, you know, you can you can plan yourself into... Never it getting uh, well, done. Well, never, yeah. Or it, it's just, you know, your expectations... <laughs> she would have made me laugh. And... Oh, I, no, she watches such weird... And she just thinks it's hilarious. Okay. I just need a little bit more... I feel like <laughs> what? 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 Since we might need an after-party special therapy session to support the rip trauma victims. <laughs> this is so true. Well, this is the other. You know, I've talked to you about those Korean shows. Those people drink a lot. Well, I don't know the ones on the show do. I don't know where the, your average right. Korean drinks a lot, and they drink this stuff called soju. I've never oh, tried it. I okay. So I used to watch um, these this couple that had like a a YouTube channel um, called Eat, Eat Your Kimchi. It's kind of sad. They ended up getting divorced because they moved to Japan and all this. But anyway, they used to talk about that stuff all the time because they lived in South Korea. And they, that's where they started their whole kimchi. thing. I love kimchi. My sister makes awesome kimchi. I don't like the kimchi so much. Love it. And you know, it just gets better. All Thank right. you. My apron was made by, whoops, wrong. By Ann Laver. Mm-hmm. It was. It was. Izzy wore hers the other day, and when she we was... We put it on her at, at dinner. <laughs> because we were grabbing spaghetti, and she had a really nice cream-colored shirt on. <laughs> yeah. Joni says, I think I would start with plain paper first if you're going to cover it anyway. Well, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, if you're going to you do know, a whole that's... lot of collaging and things, definitely. I mean, that's kind of my thought with it. Or, just as like Mariah said, you can go ahead, have your paper printed on both sides so you don't have to do this. And the thing about it is, you know, of course you can do that. And if you didn't like the inside after you got it done, then you could do what she's doing right now. It's options. All of them are options. All right. Hopefully this goes well. I have a D.I.L. who was born Daughter in, in law. Korea. She and her mom make kimchi. Oh, they even have a kimchi refrigerator. Gag. One time, I'm glad I cannot eat any cabbage products. Oh, oh well, I, love I, I like them all. Uh oh, you're gonna have a little trouble getting that. I am, but I got. That, I, I had two plans there. That don't mess with me. I, I'm limpy paper in that pocket. Mm -hmm. Don't 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 judge me yet. We'll take the cardboard things. and shove it in there. Her pocket yet. See, this is where, like, if I videoed this, I would have shown me just putting it in there like that. <laughs> and it would have then... been just perfect. <laughs> no, I probably would have shown me struggling and, like, you know, gluing it down. And... <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> what do we think? Oh, making kimchi grilled cheese tonight. Oh, God. Oh, I just love kimchi. Mariah's so poopy about it. I don't. I don't. She gripes poop. about it smelling up the refrigerator. We're just sitting there for months. <clears throat> well, that's what you're supposed to do. I, I, I get it. I, it's just cheese, cabbage, and Brussels sprouts. Mmm. Mm. I, I love cabbage in any form. Yeah, we we do. I like cabbage. All right. No. So I still have this little piece there, but I also have this little piece. She's going to piece the piece. Yeah. Joni, you should eat fermented foods. They're really good mm -hmm. for your bio. Uh, yeah. Good for your gut flora. There we go. Sauerkraut is another one wonderful thing. Oh, did you see that? It was kind of static. And I'm telling you what, the, I, I, I've told you all about my this probiotic stuff. Well, your kimchi and your sauerkraut and all that, I they help create probiotics, but this um, Dr. Formulated Garden of Life, it's a little more expensive oh, well, than the other one, it, it's... but I think this works better. It has a definite, um, yeah. Now, what do we think? I love it, and it's kind of crusty, like where you see her wrink the wrinkles in the tissue paper. See that stuff there? Like, it just looks so good. 
absolutely wonderful. We need to look through the prints to find something that goes with it that's going to kind of carry on that, but not, you know. Oh, and I could even like out on the outer pocket later here. Ooh, that looks cool. I'll keep that idea. And then I think anything that you're repeating, these need to be printed on. These would be good for your. And I, I found those. Um, I have a little bit of. Oh, I even have look a bee. Black and oh, a wasp. Flowers. You got a wasp. I like the wasp. The wasp was my favorite. Well, that would be cool, huh? But see, I would rather stamp the wasp and then make yeah, it like I, I an, an embossing, you know? I, I, I totally Cause agree. Because it, it's going to kind of wash out the thing a little bit. What are you guys saying? Hello, Anthony. No worries. Well, I'm, you know, kind of not wanting to share my ones that I've got for my project over here. I guess I can always make some more. <laughs> this is an option. It is indeed. Now here, this might be kind of nice. Well, here's another thing. Ooh, that is some good stuff. I love that. That I, I can wrap with Yeah, that. and this is not like something that really would go with your thing anyway. Oh, and I, I do. I have some leaves. Oh, I love this. I think I this think, should be in the middle. I've got smaller pieces of that. Should it be next to? Well, that would be great for tags. Well, that's what I have it for. So <laughs> give me that back. <laughs> give me that. <laughs> oh, I dropped it behind. Here. Um. All right, well, I need your help on deciding this whole thing here. I do love this one, but now I've got so much color, I don't know if we, yellow seems to be a very staple thing that's going to happen here. Yes, I love the yellow. What are you guys thinking? Red and yellow, catch a fella. I still like this with this panel. Now I do have this one that has all different kinds of pieces of little color. Well, that's more of the more of the arches and I think we need to oh you need something square I think well I've got this thing of friends here oh Rhonda says bring in some more of that blue I don't think she did a ton of that I've got um but I don't know if this is gonna that's pretty big yeah. Like we need I to keep our patterns right. a bit smaller so they're not like. <coughs> All right, what do you think? I'm ready to. This is what we could spend like, you know, two hours looking at papers. Find just the right one. Just the right and one. then I end up just gel And then she's like, you know what, never mind. I'm just, I'm just going to gel print. What colors do we need? <laughs> so we spent weeks prepping papers. <sighs> yeah, especially after, yeah, earlier. I'm very happy. She seems to be warming and warming back up. Hey, I have some of the, ooh. That's ah, not really in the right color zone. We've kind of established that we're going with these sort of colors at this moment. The other thing is I could spray some of these other papers that are here, you know? Yeah, I was just going to say, I think... Because I have these. <coughs> and I think that that well, was... I'm not, I've got my stuff kind of... All right, you, that's fine. Because I think people wanted to watch me spray some stuff, so I guess we've got 30 minutes, and I have these pieces that we could use. 
And because they're laser printed, they're not going to. And I haven't been reading the chat. Sorry, people. 5,000 papers and we can't find just the right one. I, it is exactly what happens here. <laughs> That's funny. Um, ooh, I could even color those in with the Posca. Well, now, see, that that is a good point. What? Silver Granny and her grumpy nose. I would use the more muted colors of the, for the backgrounds of the pocket so as not to compete with the colorful tags that go in. Well, they get covered up, but then see when you take them out, just remember, I just love that we have this as a, mm -hmm. as a guide. Because like we have this piece that we did, or I did, although we did because P did all the little, you know, squares and things that were used. And see, I did the same torn pocket there, but this is all the same kind of stuff inside the pocket. Because if the tags aren't in there, God, that's a great tag. That one should go in here. <laughs> Some need to just be moved around, you know? Like that should go in here. Because I'm feeling like this should be sort of our color zone is that we keep with a lot of the reds and things. And even in this pocket, I made them colorful. And that one went really explodey color. I like that one too. That could be. Just so we can, you know. What do we think? thing about it is <laughs> needle in a haystack paper challenge. Mm -hmm. Have you ever made one of these with cardstock? No, this is the second one. Mm -hmm. This was the first that I showed earlier. I think the cardstock would get, to me, I, a bit heavy. I like the burst of color when you open the book. I agree. Yeah. <coughs> So let's. Well, and your cardstock is going to be less, less flexible. It's going to be more rigid. But you know, if that's what you, do, you know, if that's what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I kind of like that look at that because it goes up like that, and then I'm going to color this. Oh yeah, and it creates that. Okay. Kind of S curve. Yeah. Part of an S curve there. See, you can't. I'm sorting papers and overwhelmed. <laughs> I, you know, I, I just gave up sorting papers because I found I go through them all anyway. I've got this stack back over here, and I just pull them out and kind of Ooh. use them. Can you do me a favor? Will you go fill this one up? And, and you just fill it, see, to that line. I usually actually kind of go down there because I'll put oh, more in okay. later. Don't fill it all the way. Yeah. Um, I think they say if the water's warm, it's... It helps, but I don't know that that totally matters either. Well, you're not taking 15 minutes work to warm up. <laughs> yes. Oh, I gotta move my mouse. I'm gonna close the door and pee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She turned on the water and it made her have to go, I guess. So I think we're going to try to stick to those colors. Yes. So I got some pomegranate eye zinc dye spray. It's Mr. Huey's. I love this stuff. And it's very hard to find. In fact, almost can't find it anymore. Double yellow. I love this stuff. But I do have some more of the eye zinc. Somewhere in here. Ah, I filled that one up with some shiny stuff, which we will need. I need to 
kind of hit that blue. That might be something of what we need. Well, that's why, I tell you, Rhonda, that's why we cut up a lot of them and, you know, send them out to people. Because they do, they just... It, it, it was tepid. I, I wouldn't necessarily okay. say that it was hot. Okay, I'm cool with that. Now, are you sure that that's what you want to use? I don't know, maybe. It's red. <coughs> it looks pretty pinky. Well, with sprays, it's kind of where you end up anyway. I have one of the reasons I'm not really crazy about it. It's like... Everything just turns out, you know, kind of pukey pink. But I think we'll be all right. Okay. Where now, are you? What are you spraying? Where are you spraying? Oh, that piece of paper. Uh huh. I'm gonna put this away from where the spray zone is. <laughs> oh, and Trish had cataract evaluation today. The surgery is in my oh eyes are bad. I so feel for you. Remember when I went and had mine done? And then I had, you know, one eye was working and one eye wasn't working because they don't do them at the same time. Which I just don't understand that. I mean, it's just like, come on, let's just get her done. But they won't. But you. Hey, that's pretty red. This, this is worth it. This cataract Ooh. surgery is so worth it. Ooh. Oh. I likey, likey that. I think that's a good one. That might be a little bit. It looks orangey on my monitor. Is it orangey? Not so much. Here. Look. Yeah, kind of. But it, I mean, it looks pretty. Well, your red over here isn't exactly red, red. It's that. It isn't. It's it, that. Um. I know. It's what the, was it uh, called? Alizarin. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's alizarin. Now, what I gotta be careful about here? Yeah, or you will be turning the orange. You know what? I am not going to do the blue on here because I don't want it to turn green. What I'm going to do is once this dries, I'm going to come back with my Posca and I may fill in those little, the little circle parts with the blue because then it's going to go really nicely with that piece. Mm -hmm. Or is that too matchy to that one and we should just be going like in a completely different direction? Thoughts. But you don't have to make that decision right now. I'm so pumped about that. This is um, Poinsettia Red Gold. Oh, I see that was perfect. It's a good one. And it, I don't think we have any that are even near red. Now, we do have that one yeah, from just, Seth. Yeah, it's pomegranate. and But it, it tends towards pinky. Well, here, I'll spray it on this other side. So we'll keep the gold in the middle. Maybe. <laughs> I don't obliterate it. Might be bringing back some yellow with the Posca marker as well. <laughs> oh, you still have a little there. Oh, I kind of like that too. And I'm glad that that's next to, that will be next to the pattern in, in the um, folder there. I don't have very many of the um, Ranger ones, Tim Holtz stuff. You I think they're pricey. Oh, I don't know. We're talking about cataract surgery. I know, I, I didn't really realize it either, but I it is absolutely amazing. Look at there. Now, it will lighten up, but and normally I would run the thingy on it. But maybe we just make some other yeah, sprays don't. on these other papers, and we can make a decision on what to do there while that dries. I want to spend it over here. Grand idea, but okay. you clean that up so you're not contaminating your. She's very wise. She's very wise. Anything with old Timmy's name on is going to be a price here. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? I mean, I think. Oh, Ricky Ranger. It, I mean, these are kind of pricey Ranger too, Ricky. but they are 2.7 fluid ounces, I think. As compared to. to I think. Hold 1. On. Point. They are smaller. I've got one in here somewhere. Yeah, 1.9. Now, this isn't actually the stuff anymore. I really did love this, though. Tumbled glass was, like, one of my favorites. 
and I like the way um, the Sethi's things come. He, he <laughs> color coordinates them. <laughs> oh yeah, when you buy them in the little sets. You know, and they're yeah. they, they, well, they, they do that of, at Ranger too. Oh, they do. I just usually don't care for or want like all of those because it's also pretty pricey. My favorite sprays are Seth after eyes next. I, I like it. I think that we tend towards those two. Yeah. But um, there are some color variations that other people have that he doesn't. Well, I like the Wendy's A for the price. I love their sets because usually I, there isn't like a bad one in the bunch. The only ones I didn't really care for, like, and I still use it every once in a while is the one that kind of came, it was like the, um, but yeah. I had the green, which, see, I like, I, I think that's, well, she's used most of this, but not me. But yeah, Bells of Ireland green, like, it's just, yeah, well, it's, it's real green. It's very green. You need to put some red in with that. Sherry had her cataract surgery one month ago in Dallas. Oh yeah, did you go to the Brooks people? <laughs> Guys could have been there at the same time. I had both eyes for distance, so I still wore reading glasses. Well, I just had mine with the regular, you know, run-of-the-mill lenses put in. And um, it's just, you know, I have to wear my, I have to wear glasses. Not I, I like my glasses. I'm, I I feel weird without my glasses. Shouldn't have torn so much off of that one. Oh, uh, you can piece it. I was gonna say it doesn't matter because I can fill it in with something else. Like, even if I just use that like that, I think that would be pretty cool. And then I can come back in here and fill that in with other stuff. Or if I wanted to save myself, <laughs> having to put in little pieces there. I could do it like that and then just fill in that stuff up there. Yeah, absolutely. And I could bring in that blue down here. There really isn't a wrong answer. It's just being able to go, all right, I'm committed to that. Let's see where we're going to go with that. Um, I'm going to do the blues on this. <laughs> Uh, oh, I listen. I it, I couldn't I I couldn't see details enough, and that's one of the reasons I really like doing gel printing because you didn't have to do. You know, I I stopped doing all that fine fine work with the markers and everything because I couldn't see. See how it beads up on the laser, laser printed areas? Isn't that cool? Well, I can't really see that, but. And it's kind of cool how it usually does it on the. I wish I had an excuse for my lackluster cleaning. I don't know what happened to my blue sponge. it. Do you need some more sponges? I do. May I have one? Mm -hmm. Now I have some of those crappy ones too. Well, I don't know where that one went. Just chuck it. Alright, I've Here's another one. <laughs> They're bouncy little buggers. It was. <laughs> Here's another one. <coughs> I don't know if I like these these as much. Okay, know. the reinkers are very concentrated and basically for reinking re mm -hmm. ink pads. Oh yeah, we've used them. Mm -hmm. We've used them for what the, you're doing right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's pigment, and you you're right. You don't need to um, use very much because they're very concentrated. Oh, she says. I also reminded Diane says. Also reminded him that he is also getting older. He's going to be 48 this year. Cataracts aren't that far away. Okay, so Nathan once commented when I 
Nathan is my brother. Yes. <laughs> that, you know, I was putting on a little weight, and, he, and what I told him is I said, I hope I live long enough to see you fat. Yes. And I have. Because, I mean, he's just a chunky dude. <laughs> so you have to be careful, you know, what you're saying. Oh, this is one of those ones. That, did you see it spray, like, almost behind me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a wonky eye. With... Yeah. Oh, God, it's all over. Hey, hey, hey. Poor Let's... Nathan. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't even. No. Poor no. old Nathan. No poor Nate. Ooh, that one's stinky. They can't smell it. They don't care. He should be nicer to his mama. He should. That one went kind of everywhere. Glad the book wasn't over there. <laughs> one day he came over. You guys know that I wear my pajama pants things. And they usually, they have paint all over the front of them or whatever. I don't really care. Because you don't see them anyway. <laughs> but I was walking walking down the stairs and, you know, the top part of me looks like great. And then the bottom part is just like, okay, so I've got socks on that don't match and inky painted pants on. He says, you know, Mother, I don't know what it is, but you just managed to look, you know, like a bag lady. I said, no, well, number one, that's really rude, but I don't know. <laughs> I've seen some pretty jazzy looking, you know, there we go. interesting color combinations, which I'm, I'm all about. So I didn't, I wasn't necessarily insulted. Why do you keep spraying that? Uh, some more color gets into it. And well, I think you need to put your other thing down there right now to see if, um, oh, can you remind about the hop? Oh, yes. Sorry. We're kind of out of our sorts here. Yes, good call. Um, Sharon. Just <laughs> did Sharon say <laughs> Okay, so, for those of you that are, you know, just hanging out with us, are brand new, um, many of you that are here in the chat, I know you know, but this weekend is the Makers Creative Club hop. Um, so, our YouTube channel, our, our channel people, the YouTubers, will be doing their hop. That will go down, or it goes live at 2 p.m. on Saturday. And then um, for any of the other things that we do, along with the Makers Creative Collab, because our non-YouTubers post all month long over there in Makers, that's the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artist Facebook group. Do come over, hang out with us. Many of the lovely folks that you see here in the chat are also members of Makers. You can see the art that they make for the swaps and, and you can get involved in the swaps you can do the collage challenge uh, collage challenge prompts collage prompt challenge I don't know it's so long Jody I haven't <laughs> help I me had, out I had it written down Joni's in charge of the swaps but I was done with that so I think I threw that sticky note away Judy's in charge of the um of the collage prompt challenge and Texture Junkies here, she is the one that you want to, like, you know. Yes, and she is live after, at four. Okay, cool. There you go. And Martha sent the link. Wonderful. Speaking of, old Timmy reminds me, I got a, a wooden vignette box frame at Michael's today. Mmm. Ooh. See, this one's drying up pretty good. It's still yeah, a little it dampy. This one I put a lot of stuff on, obviously, at least you saw that. Um, the blues that I have, the lighter colored blues, don't, aren't heavily pigmented. But then again, I guess that's why they are the blue that they are. Well, and you don't want them heavily pigmented because it'll be destroying your mm -hmm. pattern. That is true. So this needs to dry. I th I'm very happy with how this, along with what we have going on here, see... No, oh, Diane, I hope you're feeling better. I understand that. You know, it was like my whole eye thing and, and being sick. Oh, yeah. I mean, it is, it's been a very challenging year. Winter. It's winter. Winter. Yes, very challenging. <laughs> Hoping, hopefully the summer goes a little nicer. Absolutely. Especially since the baby. Oh, everybody says it looks great, Mariah. All right. Wonderful. Okay, can you bring it back in so we can see it? Yeah, I was going to get this out of the way and make sure that my puddle is... Oh, yes. Wiped up. But you don't want that on the back of your nice graphic design. Not right. Yeah, not I can right. see a little bit of shimmer in that red on the... on the. Isn't that here? The black? 
see, that's the gold that's yeah. in. So this is the poinsettia red gold. This was one of the ones that um, Marcia sent me. And it's one of the Starburst. I love the Starburst ones. I think the Starburst ones are really cool. I, I mean, can't go wrong with some Oh, you shiny. can really see it. I mean, it's and, and it, showing see up how on it, the black. Mm -hmm. It's not so much on the lighter color, but definitely on the black where it's... Well, it's probably sitting on that that print ink. Well, it's in the red, too, but because of contrast, see? Yeah, okay. There, you can really... I'm a professional wiggler. I'm going to use an abundance of cardstock, cardstock and make some of these. Excellent. <coughs> what manufacturer? Of what? Sorry, Sue. Collage prompt. Challenge. Challenge. <laughs> okay, what man? Wonky eye sprayer. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, the points out of red is um, Lindy's. Yeah, I love I, I love Lindy's. You see, this the blue, this blue, the flat, the flat Fabio ones are pretty cool because they tend to be a little bit more kind of opaque. The, the you can see it looks more milky. You really got to shake them up because it does settle. Because these come just as powders, but this one's the tilt. -a Tilt a wheel, teal. I don't think that I would call that teal, but that's like baby blue or sky blue, but. Yeah, for sure. They were definitely trying to get their name in. I get that too. I'll tell you what, the Lindy's are, are, are a good bang for your buck. And I can't remember. See, I don't think what's in this bottle is not this. I don't think it is. Because Mo had sent me some powder, and then because I had used up the blue, or we decided to just pour the blue in some other stuff, and I wanted the bottle. That is basically what we did with a lot of those things in that drawer over uh -huh. there. Uh-huh. Yes. Oh, and Diane says, I just received my glass spray bottles to make some mica sprays. Will be good to use all that Pearl X I bought over the years. Mm -hmm. So, see, we could put those in your, your sprays. Those. Oh, yeah. That. that. In fact, I think that's what's in here. Because this is a old, this was a used up bottle. Yeah. And see mm -hmm. how it has, like, just shiny, shiny, shiny business in there? I know. That Dina Dino Wakely stuff, uh, her stuff clogs right out of the Oh, gate. we had the worst. And that's what kind of turned us off on it. Because I was like, hey, they're expensive. And then they were just clogging up like crazy. Yeah. And I don't know if they've got that problem solved now. Because we haven't bought any more of them. It, it comes down to reason. the little sprayer things. And if you clean them out because of the mica, like, I don't think they're, it's, it's, unavoidable if you don't clean your sprayers yes we like the gloss too yeah and you know if you're gonna have the gloss Bye, you got a chance of clogging oh okay. um tamari oh it's okay so i made a yellow and blue page yes just um use the hashtag uh what is the hashtag paula i believe it's the color challenge Maker's Color Challenge, I think, is the hashtag. <laughs> Anne might know, too. She, she, she's, a, she's in charge of everything. Yeah, but Anne. that's what Mariah, we do, we do too. Just, and, and, and just flop it out there and then move it around. Uh, yes, and exactly like what Anne said, that we, we really do not, um, and no pressure on anyone, do what you want when you want, no requirements to participate. Yeah, if you wanted to go back to, like, old ones. I, we just like it whenever you use the hashtags because then if people are kind of looking for a particular inspiration or we want to kind of see a thread of like everything that happened with that, that's an easy way to do it. But no oh, big she deal. heard that Dinah takes the Dina takes the lids off too. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. All righty. Yeah. <laughs> what is Paul saying? Oh goodness. Oh, Gala. Hello, Gala. Happy to be here. We're happy to have you here. Well, yeah, Seth's stuff doesn't clog because it's all dye. Yeah. The the, the, the pigment has been... The starts clog is when you get that mica. Mica or... <coughs> I have noticed mm. some of the Fabio ones because, again, it's you not have, yeah. fully suspended in the... Solution. In the solution. So, even with, like, the Lindy's, see these that have the um, starburst, anything that's going to settle down to the bottom... 
that's when it gets kind of cloggy. Cloggy. Hey, Gayla. We're happy that you're here, too. Oh, thank you. Trinkets on the way with Izzy's Happy Mail. See, I thank made, I made the thing. And I think we'll bring this back around on next Thursday. Do we like this format? Do we like me hanging out on Thursdays like this? Or, mm -hmm. or do you make it next Thursday? Well, I thought I would continue with this. Oh, you're just going to put it on hold. Well, it's not like I have a lot of time to be working on it anyway. This is true. We're working on a website. Well, that's our big push. So not a lot of new things going to be coming out. Not to say that there won't be any, but certainly not a Everybody's lot. Everybody's saying good job, Mariah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Hopefully. Love this format. Okay. That's what Kathy said. Wonderful. I think that, yeah. Um, and Heather says she's going to have to watch it again. That's okay. You, we like that. Yeah. Rewatching something is very helpful. Make sure you watch the commercials. I'm just kidding. Don't skip the commercials. I never watch the commercials. <laughs> I, you know what? Sometimes when I'm watching our stuff, I'm like, I'm going to watch the commercial just to see, you know, like... Yeah, it gives us any extra. Well, you know, I was watching one of our things, and this is some kind of diet thing for fat people, and I'm like, you know, I think this is really offensive. I don't know if I should take this personally or not. You know, it's like, okay. Well, hmm. I mean, there is some targeting that they do, but I don't know that they, you know, I don't know that they know that you are who you are exactly, but it's a demographic thing. If that makes Put sense. Put water in the cap when done using them. Oh. Yeah. Well, like fill up the the <clears throat> cap part with some water and like. And he says I get all the mail and nasty nest. Hey, we got to be careful about all this. Talk <laughs> we don't about. get any of those. <laughs> <laughs> oh I, oh I watched, God! Now we will. Watched, I watched this thing with brawless. Okay, so that in order to make their point, they took a watermelon. Mm -hmm. And this is. Uh, put some sticky like stuff. Like a big watermelon? A water, or a little like one? Like a little melon, you know. This, like this side. And they put, stick this thing on there, and then they hold it up and jiggle it up. <laughs> and I'm going, and that's supposed to feel good on my boob? I don't think so. <laughs> good. Holy moly. There's some Thursday thoughts for you. Yeah. Now, did you visualize? I am not a melon. That's what I have to say about that. <laughs> Well, they used to you know they had smaller fruit for, you know. <laughs> I guess, you know. Maybe a grapefruit. Uh, my battery's smaller. low, so I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness, goodness. Okay, well, thank you all for hanging out. That's kind of boring, just leaving that there. Can't I'll wait to see the next day. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, here, I'll put the sword on top because it's kind of, it, it's dry-ish. Certainly dry enough to hang out there. But I'm loving where we're heading with this. I think maybe on, because um, by then, next Thursday, we'll also have the, the, the embossing powders and things. So there'll be some fun stuff to play oh, with. Yes. We can stamp and do some stuff. I may, if I can get up here, do some, some of what we've already talked about. So that way you don't have to, it's like, okay, yeah, we get it. We'll do new things <laughs> on Thursday, hopefully. But yes, um... Do give those thumbsy upsies if you have come in and you know, haven't done that and you enjoyed it. We very much appreciate that. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Ring that Absolutely. bell so you get notified. We do this three times a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m. Central Time and then 10 a.m. on Sundays. If you want to hang out with us and many of the lovely folks here in the chat, that's over in the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artist Facebook group. If you want a link to that, you can find it in the chat or down below down below you find lots of information how to get to our website how to buy papers how to do all of those sorts of things but Absolutely. otherwise we'll see you back here on thursday bye guys bye